Okay, great. Next, we're going to measure your peak cough flow. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with the L, uh, LVRs. We're going to give you uh, inflate your lungs with the with the bag. Okay. Okay. When we're finished with inflating your lungs, we're going to place the mask on your face and you're going to blow out, and we're going to measure how fast you're you're exhaling. Okay. okay. I'm going to disconnect you from the ventilator again. Okay. So blowing out and cough or coughing or blowing out a cough. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So when you're ready, I'm going to disconnect you from the vent. Okay. So ready. I'll place your nose clips on first. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and I'll touch you back to the ventilator. Uh, the peak cough flow with lung balm recruitment is 165. How's that? You okay? Do you need to suction down your trait? I'm fine. Do you want me to suction you? Um, you can, certainly, yes. Do you feel like yeah. you need one? So I'm just going to go down and give you a quick little suction yeah. here, okay? Okay, so if we were to remove the tracheostomy tomorrow, okay, we can estimate that your peak cough flow would be close to 200. Okay. You need 160 in order to move some secretions. Okay? Right. Now, I know, and I have worked with individuals with the same level of injury, and I know once they, the trach is out and they're used to doing this, the peak cough flow can rise to 400. Okay. Once the tracheostomy is out, you can use lung balm recruitment with a bag or lung balm recruitment with a ventilator or glossopharyngeal breathing in order to expand your lungs and cough just like anybody else. Okay, that would be very handy. Yeah. That would be great. Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca for additional comprehensive information.